Welcome to Lunchtime with Dr. G. So today we're going to be talking about DVTs, blood clots, what is a DVT, what is a blood clot, and what you should do. So the take-home message for today is um, do not go home and lay down thinking that it's just uh, gas. It's never gas for us. Call your doctor, let a friend know exactly what you're feeling, what you're experiencing, and go to the hospital or go to the doctor to get yourself checked out. This is not a message to make you panic, but just so that you're aware, so you know you can help yourself or help somebody else who may be experiencing these symptoms, okay? Uh, the definition of a clot, what is a clot? A clot is a mass of blood that forms when platelets, part of the components of the blood, uh, they stick together and it attaches to the wall. If, it, if it's attached to the wall, it's a thrombus, if it is moving through the bloodstream and it causes a block of the flow of blood, it is called an embolus. All right, so let's just get that definition sorted out first. So a DVT, a deep vein thrombosis, or a clot in the leg, if you have that, then the symptoms would be um, one leg would be swollen, tenderness in the area, a heavy ache in the affected area. So only in that area, you just feel like really heavy. The leg or calf would feel warm to touch and then the leg pain or cramping that's suddenly in the calf. A DVT or a clot and we've been hearing a lot of people who, our loved ones or friends who have been kind of coming down with this, um, these symptoms and we may not have known what it was. A DVT or a clot that goes to the heart is called, it's a, it's a heart attack. It cuts off the blood supply. A clot that goes to the lungs is called a pulmonary embolism, and we'll go through the symptoms of those. A clot that goes to the brain, you can either get a seizure because it blocks off the oxygen, or you can have a stroke. There are two kinds of stroke. There's an ischemic stroke where the clot kind of stays right there, and then there's a hemorrhagic stroke which causes bleeding out. A pulmonary embolism, the one that goes to the lung. A clot to the lung is a pulmonary embolism you would have symptoms of sudden shortness of breath at rest without doing anything. You're just like short of breath. You have a rapid heart rate, unexplained sharp pain in your chest or your shoulder, uh, a cough that may, you may have mucus or uh, bloody mucus that you're kind of coughing up. So be aware of these symptoms, excessive sweating, light, maybe lightheaded or fainting. Um, the other one is a heart attack. A heart attack, you would definitely have like chest pain. Somebody who's having chest pain, do not go home and lay down. Tell a friend, go to your doctor. If you can't get into your doctor, go to the hospital. Chest pain with a heart attack, blood clot that goes to the heart, stops the oxygen and the blood flow to the heart. Chest pain, shortness of breath pain in the jaw, the neck, the back. One symptom may be pain right behind here. That's an uncommon one, but it is one as well. Pain to the shoulder, exhaustion, dizziness, indigestion, stomach pain, and vomiting. If you're vomiting, you may think you just had some bad food. You never know. Um, nausea or unusually tired. So if these symptoms are clumped together and you're experiencing this, you know, don't just write it off as nothing. For men, you'll have pain and numbness on the left side, the left arm or chest, usually. Uh, maybe a little bit different for women, it may be on the right side. So just so you're aware of that. Um, the other one is a clot to the brain can cause a stroke. We're just gonna go through general symptoms of a stroke or a CVA, cerebral vascular accident, where the blood supply is affected and you know you may have numbness or weakness in the face and the arm on the leg the thing to note about this is it usually occurs on one side of the body it's not both sides it's only one side that's usually affected you may be suddenly confused have difficulty speaking or understanding you may experience like drooping of the face on one side uh, sudden trouble seeing dizziness or trouble with walking you may lose your balance uh, it's possible you can also experience a like fainting, feel like you're gonna faint, or a seizure, sudden nausea, or vomiting, and a severe headache. 
these are just some of the symptoms that may be associated with having a stroke again do not panic just be aware so you can help yourself and then help somebody else who may be experiencing some of these symptoms you can at least direct them to where they need to go to the hospital to their doctor let somebody know what you're feeling before you go home don't just go home and lay down okay it's very important uh, just let me know um, what you think of the video you can send a message to 584-3546 and if you any other topics you want me to kind of just touch on you can always just send a message on whatsapp and let us know all right thank you